Okay, this is that super easy bread. Flour, salt, sugar, yeast, and a blob of shortening, that much. Uh, in a bowl, KitchenAid, sort of whip it all around, and then you're gonna put the dough hook in, and I have a jug with some slightly better than room temperature water. And the whole trick to this bread is just add a little bit at a time. Uh, turn the dough hook on and dribble in, maybe start with a half a cup, and then literally add it little dribbles at a time. What you want the dough to be is a soft, slightly sticky mass. And so all you gotta do here is just watch and, and I hope that you can sort of tell what sort of consistency we're going for here. So you see I'm just adding a little bit of water at a time and letting it go. So kind of slow at first, otherwise you get flour everywhere. And then you can sort of crank it up to three or four. Because you want it to come together. But you don't want it to immediately be a ball that rides around the outside of the hook. You want the dough to be soft enough that it still sort of grabs to the middle of the hook. And you'll see here, I don't quite add enough water and um, it's riding around the outside. And so I stop the machine, lift it out, and then put it back in. And you can, then it, the, the dough grabs the ball, You'll grabs the hook. You'll be able to see what I mean. Because you see it was going around the outside. And you can tell that that dough is actually a little tiny bit dry. So I added probably about a tablespoon, maybe, of water, put the hook in the middle of the dough, and then start it off slow so that it absorbs the water. Otherwise, you just get a slushy mess everywhere. And then it's mostly got the water in here, but it's still riding around the outside. And so I was concerned as to whether or not it was a wet enough dough when really all it needed was just to be repositioned underneath the, the dough hook. Because you want it to be kind of sticky at this point. So you see, there you go, lift it and it's sticking and gooey, perfect. I think people, the problem that they have with bread dough is they literally just don't put enough water in. So you see now it's sticking to the hook and just let it rip. So I've tried to edit out here so that you don't have to sit and watch this thing kneading my dough for me. So I thought it might be done. I took it and stretched it and see how it just teared? That is not ready. And it also was not smooth enough. So another couple of minutes maybe. See how beautiful and smooth that is? It's not cracking, gorgeous. Beautiful thing. So I just pulled it off the hook and then I didn't wanna add extra flour. And a little trick that I have is if you want dough not to stick to your hands, just add a little bit of water. So as you can see, the dough, there's nothing stuck around the sides or the bottoms of the bowl. So I just poured a little tiny bit of water into my hand just to make it wet picked up the dough, and then just stretched it underneath itself. Kept folding the sides under just to make a nice smooth top. It makes it rise a little bit easier, I think. And then I grabbed, I think, yeah, they go, a little flour shaker. Drop it in. Beautiful. Covered it with a bag. Thank you very much, vegetable bags. And I left it for an hour, mm, hour and a bit. So this is my incredibly old, old, old loaf pan and I've discovered that rather than spraying it if I butter it the bottom of this loaf browns a little tiny bit better so now we butter and it adds a beautiful flavor geez I'm a very thorough butterer it's funny it didn't seem like that long when I was doing it I should have edited this out. Oh, well, it's here now. So there you go, amply buttered.
So here's the vegetable bag covered dough. It was about an hour and now it's uh, beautifully puffy. So put a little bit of flour down on the board. You actually don't need very much. Rub it in. And I'm pretty quick when I deal with my dough like this. So I sort of flip it a couple of times, poke, 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 flip, poke, 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 make it kind of square. And then I just start folding, or sorry, rolling, and then tucking my fingers down very tightly to try to keep a nice tight roll, tuck in the ends as you go. Straighten out the very bottom, kind of a square, and then just pinch that seam all the way along. It is that quick. Don't fret about rolling bread dough, I promise. Don't do it. And this kind of impressed me is that I had rolled that the exact side of that size of that pan. It's like I have made a hundred thousand loaves like this. <laughs> so after I put it in, I pat it down just a little bit, just to kind of make it sort of even. I flour it very generously. And then put it back in the bag. Thank you, H-E-B vegetable bags. And it was way puffier than normal. I don't know what I had done, but I didn't want that much hair in it. And it sat on my counter for about an hour and a half. It's, uh, it's a little cool in here. So hour and a half and look at that beautiful thing. I had preheated the oven at 375. I don't do anything. I don't worry about slashing. Look at that. I don't worry about steam in the oven, nothing. This is that easy of a loaf. So 375 in the oven for 20, spin it, do it for five more, straight out of the oven, pull it straight out. You see, it's a little bit browner. I don't know why this loaf does not brown at the bottom very well. Anyway, that's it. That's the easiest, best single white loaf you'll ever make in your whole entire life. It's delicious. It's completely tender and soft and yummy. Make it.